There are 15 gorillas here in Covent Garden, and in this video, we'll be tracking them all down. Each one of these gorillas has been embellished with designs curated from an array of talented artists from the worlds of art, design, film, photography, and comedy. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly where to find every single gorilla in Covent Garden on a self-guided walk, understand which artists are responsible for each design, and know why there are even gorillas here in the first place. Additionally, you will have taken a tour through some of the most iconic spots of Covent Garden. So, let's begin our quest to find the gorillas. Starting at the West Piazza of Covent Garden, we spot our first gorilla, Sally Wood's gorilla named Precious. This gorilla has been inspired by the highly endangered silverback gorillas and how precious they are, says Sally. Sally Wood is an actress and producer. She sits on the board of trustees for the Roundhouse Theatre and harbours a passion for new work. She's married to Ronnie Wood of the Rolling Stones and together they have twin girls, Alice and Gracie. Walking the piazza, we enter King Street. We will then stroll down King Street, all the way to Floral Court, where we will find our second gorilla. And here we have our second gorilla, named Homeless, belonging to artist Hayden Kays. Protecting the natural habitat of gorillas is crucial for their survival and ecological balance. Preserving their habitat safeguards biodiversity and promotes a harmonious coexistence between gorillas and humans, says Hayden. Hayden Kays is a London-born artist whose practice encompasses painting, sculpture and printmaking. He is widely described as one of the most provocative artists of his generation due to his celebration and critique of the culture industry. His work demonstrates classically trained sensibilities mediated by thoroughly contemporary concerns. Walking out of Floral Court, you will be led into the beautiful Floral Street. Just off Floral Street in Conduit Court, you'll find our third gorilla waiting patiently for us. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Adam Dance Gorilla, dubbed the Gorilla Toolkit. The Gorilla Toolkit is decorated with images of tools like a page from Diderot's Enlightenment Encyclopedia to clearly delineate what distinguishes us from and connects us to these beasts, says Adam. Born in Cambridge in 1967, Adam Dant trained in printmaking at the RCA, HDK Berlin and MS University, Baroda, India. Awarded a Rome Scholarship and a Jerwood Drawing Prize, Dant's engaging historically rich prints and drawings have led to The Guardian, describing him as a Hogarth for our times. Moving on, we step into the ultimate Instagram spot of Covent Garden, the Infinity Chamber. This will lead you directly to the fourth gorilla. Right outside the Infinity Chamber is the fourth gorilla belonging to Chila Berman, titled My Friend. I've dressed you up in the best outfit ever, says Chila. Chila Kumari Singh Berman is celebrated for her radical feminist practice, which examines representation, gender and cultural identity. She works across a wide range of mediums, including printmaking, drawing, painting, installation and film. Right across from the fourth gorilla is Slingsby Place. Cross over to Slingsby Place and keep walking. Don't forget to look above and below while walking so you don't miss out on some of the colourful sights this place has to offer. Eventually you'll get to the yard. Step in and turn left. You'll find our fifth gorilla there. Here is our fifth gorilla, named Gaia. This gorilla belongs to artist Gemma Powell. I wanted to show nature, Mother Earth or Gaia, versus the city. The city representing man. Poaching and disease from humans are the two biggest threats to the gorilla, says Gemma. 
Gemma Powell is a British artist known for her painterly observational landscapes drawn from a close contemplation of nature and her travels. She has exhibited widely across the UK, including a successful 2022 solo exhibition in London. Her work is held in private collections across Europe, Australia and the US. From here, we'll head to the Sixth Gorilla by going through this passageway. This will lead us to Upper St Martin's Lane. Turn right and you'll be able to spot our sixth gorilla just a little further in the distance. And here, on Upper St Martin's Lane, we have our sixth gorilla titled Be Kind. This gorilla belongs to Barnaby Barford. This artwork raises awareness of our curtailed rights to peaceful protest, whilst prompting reflection on kindness towards oneself, others and nature emphasising the transformative power of fundamental acts, says Barnaby. Working across drawing, sculpture, film, installation and painting, Barnaby Barford is recognised for his thought-provoking work. He explores the socio-political landscape, encouraging viewers to question the world around them. From here, we'll be heading to Seven Dials for our seventh gorilla. Seven Dials is a vibrant cosmopolitan enclave in Covent Garden, where seven quaint cobbled streets converge, offering a diverse array of independent boutiques, historical pubs, delicious eateries and cutting-edge theatre, all wrapped in London's unique historic charm. On the left side of the sixth gorilla is Monmouth Street. Walk up Monmouth Street, where our seventh gorilla awaits. And there it is, our seventh gorilla, titled Forest Camo Gorilla, belonging to artist Pure Evil. Pure Evil's gorilla sculpture serves as a powerful symbol, shedding light on the precarious situation faced by mountain gorillas due to the threat of poaching. Pure Evil is a graffiti and street artist. Fanged Pure Evil bunny rabbits are the artist's trademark, which stemmed from Pure Evil's remorse after shooting a rabbit when he was young. For the eighth gorilla, we'll be heading to Shaftesbury Avenue. Luckily, simply walking Monmouth Street all the way to the end will get us there. You might find this particular gorilla rather fashionable. And here's our eighth gorilla titled King Gone, belonging to artist Mauro Peruchetti, an art-savvy gorilla for whom it is a no-brainer to save a 50-cent banana for later instead of letting a $150,000 one rot on the wall, says Mauro. Born in 1949, Perichetti painted from a very early age, inspired by his childhood growing up in Italy. He spent decades experimenting with new mediums and created his iconic resin Jelly Babies. Perichetti is a master craftsman and social commentator with his finger on the pulse of contemporary society. We will find our next gorilla on Neal Street. Just keep walking straight ahead and you'll be able to spot it in less than a five minute walk from here. And here on Neal Street, we have the ninth gorilla titled Respect the Family. This gorilla belongs to Hannah Shergold. For this piece, I have played with the idea that if the gorilla could communicate its own values, beliefs and sense of humour through tattoo art, what would it say, says Hannah. Having left her role as an army helicopter pilot in 2018, Tusk ambassador Hannah Shergold has blended her passion for animals with a unique artistic style. Her work is sold all over the world and she is now one of the leading self-represented artists in the UK. For our 10th gorilla, we'll be heading to Neil's yard. Simply keep walking on Neil Street until you get to Short's Gardens, where you'll make a right. Continue walking until you reach Neil's yard, then make another right into the alleyway. Our 10th gorilla awaits us there. Welcome to Neil's yard, here it is. Our 10th gorilla titled The Guardian, belonging to Mr. Jago. The Guardian reflects glimpses of the flora, fauna and insect life which he has protected for thousands of years and which he aspires to protect for many years to come, says Mr. Jago. Although considered to have been amongst the vanguard of Bristol's acclaimed graffiti scene, 
Mr Jago's work over the last 20 or more years has firmly established him as one of the UK's most respected abstract expressionist painters. Mr Jago's colour-focused automatic painting is heavily influenced by the natural world. For the 11th gorilla, just walk back the way you came to the entrance of the alleyway leading to Neil's yard. Once there, you'll see Seven Dials Market right across. Walk right in, our 11th gorilla is in there. Welcome to Seven Dials Market. Seven Dials Market offers a vibrant gastronomic adventure fusing the heritage-rich charm of London with an eclectic mix of innovative food stalls, independent traders and unique dining experiences. Right at the entrance is our 11th gorilla titled VHS Ape, belonging to Nick Gentry. Mountains of used VHS tape sleeves were used to create this piece. Are we the clever great apes captive of our own entertainment? says Nick. Nick Gentry is a British graduate of Central St Martins in London. He has exhibited in galleries, museums and public settings in the UK, USA and Europe. As part of a generation that grew up with floppy disks, VHS tapes, Polaroids and cassettes, he is inspired by the impact of internet culture. Next, simply head back out of Seven Dials Market to Neal Street, then walk all the way down Neal Street until you finally get to Covent Garden Station. Our 12th gorilla will be found somewhere there. Welcome to Covent Garden Station. Right opposite the station is Regal House, where our 12th gorilla is located. This gorilla belongs to the artist Rankin. I like flowers, says Rankin. Rankin, a British photographer, publisher and film director. His iconic photography has captured everyone from the Rolling Stones to the Queen. As a publisher, he co-founded Dazed and Confused magazine, as well as over 50 other books and magazines. He is based in London with his wife and dogs. Our next stop is the Covent Garden Piazza, where our 13th gorilla is located. Just keep walking straight ahead and you'll encounter this beautiful gorilla in less than five minutes. And here is our 13th gorilla titled Paint It Black. This gorilla belongs to Ronnie Wood and was inspired by the 1966 Rolling Stones hit of the same name. Ronnie Wood is the legendary guitarist with the Rolling Stones, a musician, songwriter and artist who is as accomplished with a paintbrush as he is with his guitar. Classically trained at Ealing Art College, he has mastered a range of genres, from abstract to landscapes and portraits. Ronnie is Tusk's longest standing ambassador, having supported the charity for 30 years. Our 14th gorilla is also here at the piazza. Just turn left and keep walking straight ahead. You'll spot it in less than two minutes. And here is our 14th gorilla, titled Frankie. This gorilla belongs to John and Jen Cleese. To celebrate our dear Frankie, a king in his own right, and to our new king who reminds everyone of the magic of London past, present and future, says John and Jess. John Cleese, an ageing comedy legend, and his sprightly young wife, Fish, have combined their meagre talents to produce a painting by numbers of a gorilla of extraordinary originality, according to them. For our 15th and final gorilla, we'll be heading into the Covent Garden Market Building, less than a three-minute walk from here. Here is our 15th gorilla, titled Sun Wukong. This gorilla belongs to artist Gordon Chung. Sun Wukong, also known as Monkey King, is an iconic and beloved Chinese mythological character known as a symbol of perseverance, bravery and the triumph of good over evil. British Chinese artist Gordon Chung is known for his innovative approach to making art. 
Reflecting on globalization and its underlying mechanisms of power on our perception of identity, territory and belonging, his works blur virtual and actual reality in dreamlike spaces of surreal worlds that are rooted in his in-between identity. So why are there gorillas in Covent Garden? The gorillas that you've seen are part of an art installation called the Tusk Gorilla Trail. The Tusk Gorilla Trail is a fundraiser for the Tusk Trust, a conservation charity that works to protect African wildlife. The sculptures are designed to raise awareness of the plight of gorillas in the wild. Gorillas are endangered due to habitat loss, poaching and disease. All the gorillas will go to auction this autumn, with 100% of sale proceeds going directly to support Tusk's conservation projects in Africa.